Today is World Photography Day and I've been challenged by the team to get some cool photos of this Skoda Enyaq. So I'm up at Stupid O'Clock to see if I can catch the sunrise up on Moa. Now it is a little bit dark at the minute to show you around this Enyaq. So let's do a bit of time travel and we'll head to the future and I'll show you around the Enyaq later on. But now. Now I quite like what Skoda have done with this. There's nothing really that stands out to make it look like an electric car, apart from maybe the lack of an exhaust. This could be mistaken for just any other SUV in the Skoda range. Now this is gonna be an unpopular opinion, I'm sure, but I think this is the best looking car Skoda's made. They've left a front grille on here, which is fake just for aesthetic reasons. And there's a big front splitter, which is, looks more like something you see on a hot hatch, not an SUV, but I think it works. I love it. I think it's cool. So we've got the Enyaq up here on Bailed and Moor and the sunrise unfortunately hasn't happened. Well, it has happened. It's just behind a load of mist and cloud, but we've got quite a lot of atmosphere with the mist. So we'll see what amazing photos we can get up here. I've got a GoPro mounted to the top of the camera. So you should be able to see what the camera's seeing. Let's see how we get on. So first thing I'm gonna do is get down nice and low. We'll see if we can take in some of this mist and get a nice clean atmospheric shot. And let's bang on straight away. inside and it's got very much a minimalistic feel about it there's not a great deal going on except for this huge infotainment screen which by the way is crystal clear it really is nice looking however the usability is not the best it is a little bit glitchy um but it's okay it's not the worst system i've ever used it does support though apple carplay and android auto which means I've got a familiar feel about it anyway because I've connected wirelessly, so everything's as I expect it to be. In terms of the rest of the car, it's built it's with quality materials. We've got um, two little places for phones there. We've got a little shelf underneath. We've got two cup holders. We've got a big storage compartment there. The glove box is a decent size, and we've got some nice material and stitching over the dash and on the doors. So it's really, really nice. It does feel like an electric car inside. I wonder how it drives. Now I'm not gonna lie, as a photographer being out at this time of the morning, at the crack of dawn for sunrise is pretty special. And it's that peace and quiet that's really helping me appreciate having an electric car like this. I'm driving a big SUV and yet it's near silent. If I put my foot down, there's the gentle whir of the motor and that's about it. It's just superb. The electric motor's got plenty of torque, so powering up this hill is a breeze. The suspension is quite stiff and so is the steering. And I wouldn't like to push the car too quickly around a corner because there's quite a bit of body roll, but it's got plenty of oomph about it. Now you get two options with the Enyaq. There's this entry level 60 kilowatt version, which has 180 horsepower and Skoda claim will do 240 miles on a charge. Then there's the 80 kilowatt version, which has 204 horsepower and Skoda claim is good for 330 miles on a charge. Now that all depends on how you drive it and what you've got switched on, but it's still pretty good going. So I found a nice little spot here with a bit of a nice view and it's clearing up a little bit so I'm going to get a couple of external shots here and then I'm going to try and get some close-up shots and some internal shots as well. Let's get down into the grass a little bit. Taking some of that view, fantastic. Nice. Right, let's get a few close-up detail shots. lights look fantastic I really do like the styling on this car let's see if we can get some interior shots we'll zoom in a little bit looking marvelous let's try from the rear seats get rid of all my camera gear 
to get the Skoda badge in. Beautiful. Try one more. I'm in the driver's side. Lovely. And there we go. So this has got 108 brake horsepower. Let's see what it's like from naught to 60. Go! It's away pretty quick as most electrics are and that ain't hanging around at all. There we go, job done. I've heard and seen lots of comments recently. Anyone who recommends an electric car needs the head testing. Nonsense. You'll run out of charge and you'll have nowhere to top it up. Nonsense. Charge points are everywhere. Almost every petrol station I go in, there's charge points. Every service station has charge points. Supermarkets, McDonald's have charge points. You just need to change your mentality a bit. I said this in another video. Don't wait until you've got next to nothing left in the tank before you charge it up again. Plug it in every so often. If you stop for a coffee, plug it in. If you go do your shopping, plug it in. I'm not going to lie. I was a skeptic when the idea of electric cars came out. I didn't think it would work. The more I drive them, the more I think this is the way forward. I love this car. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't playing ball today. It was a little bit overcast and quite misty, so we didn't really get any of the view from up the top of the moor. But we got some nice photos of the car. And if you'd like to test drive this car or any of the 4,000 we've got in stock at Available Car, then visit a showroom and we'd be more than happy to help. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming reviews. Now, my bed's calling. See you next time. Ta-ra.